Hi, I'm Jerry Kay, and you're on the Marin County G Channel at this very moment. My guest is Dana Armanino. Dana is a planner with the sustainability team for the County of Marin. Dana Armanito, thanks very much for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. Now, really cool program, the Green Business Program. Tell us what it's all about. Uh, the Green Business Program started 10 years ago in Alameda and Contra Costa County, and Marin launched it here in 2002. And what it's designed to do is help businesses become more energy, resource, water efficient, and prevent pollution. And once they do that, we have a checklist that will help them through that process. Once they do that and they actually get verified by the county, we can promote them as a green business and hopefully market them that way to get more people to uh, use their businesses. Now, it's interesting. You, you'd sort of assume that when you talk about a green business, it's going to be a green builder, a solar energy company. We have solar collectors we're seeing in the background right now, but, but you've really broadened what a green business is. Mm -hmm. The program was actually designed to try and help those businesses that aren't naturally traditionally green and to try and help green them up because we're not going to give up our cars just yet, so we need auto service shops. Things will still get printed until we're fully electronic, so we want a green printer. We want those options there. So we have checklists that deal with all of those areas, and we now have certified printers, uh, auto service shops, banks, all sorts of things. So we try and help all kinds of businesses where we can. Caterers, uh, Caterers. food shops and things. Restaurants, hotels, all sorts. And they all uh, take steps to reduce their energy, reduce their water use, prevent pollution, use less toxic products where they can. Restaurants are trying to buy local and sustainably where they can. Reduce the, the to-go items, use biodegradable when they can, use reusable when they can, eliminate styrofoam. There's all sorts of ways a business can be green without necessarily going to raw and vegan. I've been very struck by the fact that not only are these uh, businesses uh, some small, medium, large, but individual consultants as well. So anybody watching us at this moment who's interested in, yeah, I'd like to be a green business, your program can serve them. Just about. There's some uh, industries that we're not quite ready to serve yet, some unique ones that have some uh, environmental compliance intricacies that we have to work out, say like a dry cleaner, we're not quite ready to work with them yet. But all of our coordinators throughout the Bay Area and the state are working together to try and assist as many industries as we can. So there'll be some little caveats that we're not quite ready yet. But uh, for the most part, yeah, we've, we've done everything from a home-based business with a consultant all the way up to the larger office buildings and, uh, you know, individual contractors, remodelers. Just curious, you may not remember the number, but generally speaking, how many green businesses are there in Marin County? In Marin County, as of the last official board certification ceremony, there were 210 businesses. Uh, since that time, I think we've added another 25, so we're so up. So the trajectory is pretty, pretty quick and pretty... Oh, yeah. uh, Absolutely. When we first launched the program, we were doing, you know, a, few, a couple of businesses a month, and now we're doing about 10 a month. So it's really uh, taken off. It's wonderful. And for individuals or business owners who are watching us, is there a website that they can go to for more information? Yes, they can go to maringreenbusiness.org. And what would they find there? What, what are some of the things that you provide? What sort of technical assistance? Well, uh, on the technical assistance side, we have information on how to contact me to get the, pro the business enrolled in the program. And then we also have a resources page for businesses that follows the outline of the checklist that says, okay, you know, we've suggested that you reduce junk mail coming to your building. Well, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. Here are the links to get you to go on that. We've suggested you buy recycled content products. Here are some links on that one. So, you know, we, we're trying to make it as easy as possible for the business owner to fold in these environmental measures because we know they're busy and they don't have time to do the research themselves so we're trying to provide that for them I've noticed that quite a number of businesses that I see have the little symbol a little uh, sticker that goes there has it been helpful from marketing these businesses absolutely I've definitely gotten feedback from businesses that say that customers have come in and said I'm using you because you're a green business you're starting to see the logo more and more we've had some businesses asked to have the logo uh, so they can put it on their delivery trucks or uh, things like that they really want to get it out there and I've also heard from a consultant who uh, got an RFP from a city that said they wanted uh, to give preference to green certified businesses. So it's definitely rolling along. Well, thank you very much. For folks, if you want more information, we'll give you the web address again. Dana Armanino, thank you very much, and good luck with your green business program. Thank you very much. I'm Jerry Kay. You're on the Marin County G Channel. Thanks for being with us.